It is January 25th, 2022. Um, at least I think it is. I don't think it's hit midnight quite yet. And I'm sitting here attempting to do my trigonometry homework. Mr. Smarty Pants over here. I don't know anything about trigonometry. Literally anything. I know there are six tiny three-letter words that sound kind of funny that mean something. That's all I know. There's shapes involved, but it's not like geometry. Slightly different. I'm guessing it has something to do with three because of the tri-Roman or freaking, not Roman, Latin, one of the two, um, because it, because it says tri, and it might have something to do with triangles, but probably not because trig is different than, I don't need to explain that to you, it's different. That's all I know, and to be fair, I've only been in trigonometry for a couple of weeks, but I haven't understood anything math related since like the third grade. If even. Now, I don't want to say I haven't understood anything, um, but I have not sat in front of a math test and been like, I feel prepared. Not even slightly. Like, admittedly. Not even like, maybe I can pull this off. No, every single time I doubt myself. And I know what you're gonna say. It's, it's about belief. It's about, you know, whatever. Whatever. Just believe in yourself. But no. No. Sometimes, sometimes it is. Most times it is. But sometimes you just don't know. You know? You know, uh, if you don't, you don't, unfortunately. But can you at least pretend to try to know? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anyway, I was sitting here having a bit of a crisis, if you will, or a set of crises, a crisis. And I was like, you know what? This is the exact type of content I've been waiting for. You have to be in a very specific mood to not only be like really down, but also really want to talk. And I'm in that mood right now. And I'm also in the mood to be productive, but I'm not in the mood to try and figure out trigonometry because I just don't have the energy. Never gonna have the energy, quite frankly. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do about that. It's too late to drop the class. Not too late to get an F, but not ideal either. I don't even have the energy. I literally, I'm in such a dark place mentally. This is getting deep real fast, but I'm in such a dark place mentally. Whenever I try to put even the slightest bit of effort into it, I just have the worst thoughts about how stupid I am, how much I just want to stop, how much every other faucet of my life makes me want to quit. Um, to the point where I get thoughts that no one should ever have in a lifetime. That's not okay. That's not okay to ever have, much less over trigonometry. And so while it looks lazy for me to sit back and say, hey, not gonna do that, it is a defense mechanism. And the thing that sucks is like, it's not even trigonometry. It's the things I actually enjoy doing and probably at least to some extent understand. Even those things lead me down those paths if I stick with them long enough. My favorite thing in the world, writing, you know, that has, let's be real, that has made me feel just as helpless and stupid and pointless as math has sometimes. Obviously, the ratio of times it's made me feel good to times it's made me feel bad is significantly better than that of anything mathematics related. But it still, it still has that painful side to it, no matter how much I want to pretend it doesn't. It, it does. And I don't know what to do about it because it's always been that way. And at this rate, it always is going to. And I know that's a really negative way to look at it, but I'm just going to have to come to terms with it, I feel like. And uh, just learn to deal with it better, because it's clearly not going away. That's not a choice. The choice I have in the matter is to let it, right? Am I right? I don't know. And I feel alone in it, too. Even though not only does my common sense tell me I'm not alone in it at all, and that most everyone deals with it, um, but I also know, like, from talking, like, it doesn't matter how many times people tell me like blatantly, that they know exactly what I'm going through. I believe them, but then my brain's like, okay, suddenly we need more than proof. And there's nothing more than proof. There was, there was literally nothing more than proof itself. And there's the dilemma. My brain, whatever's going on in here, it's got a lot of good. Listen, I'm not gonna be Miss Debbie Downer today. It's got a lot of good in there, but something's wrong with it, clearly. And that's not like the diss on me. Like that's literally just the way it is scientifically for whatever reason and there mm, i'll overcome it one day to some extent um i've begun to overcome it more than i would have thought i could have years ago but while it does get easier it does get harder in a lot of ways unfortunately that's just the way it is like lots of areas of my life have gotten significantly better um than they had been in the past but also some things have gotten worse and 
Not without the comfort of knowing that eventually they'll get better again as well, but again, you get to a point where you need to know more than that it will get better. You know, when you're in those dark moments initially, you're like, all I need to know is that someday it'll get better. And then eventually you start to feel and know and admit that it will get better. And that doesn't make it better though. It, it really doesn't. It doesn't even make it easier. Sometimes it makes it harder. You get a sort of feeling that like, well, if it's gonna get better and it's not getting better, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm talking, I'm, I don't know. I saw maybe it'd be, maybe it'd be cool for me to turn on the camera and talk like a madman. I just want people to know that they're not alone. Again, even though, you know, a few minutes ago I said, it doesn't really help sometimes. Maybe, maybe this time will be the exception. We got some Smarties um, to cure our depression. You know, I think it's a really good thing. Okay, wait, hold up. Let me dump the, I'm not about to have a super deep discussion while I'm rattling the Smartie thingy. I shouldn't even be eating these. That's like the number one rule of being on camera. I'll eat one and then I'll save the rest for after. I'm actually kind of more depressed now. Anyway, what I was saying is, I think it's really great that we as a society have moved towards, you know, being much more open about mental illness and not even just mental illness, but emotions in general. Um, but I think some people are like, okay, well now, there's a platform where people can talk about it if they're struggling with it. So that's as far as society needs to go. We're open. We're, we're open. Um, but that's it. That's all that that's all that we need. It's just a platform. Just a place to spill out our thoughts and feelings like one such person is doing at the moment on his YouTube channel. Um, you know what? I appreciate the effort. I appreciate the sentiment. But we're going to need a little bit more than that. There are resources out there that provide some sense of fixability if you will not that these things need to be fixed but there are there are avenues for getting them dealt with for lack of a better word but in general the common consensus that has been built up um in the world we live in is that you just need to talk about it that's that's all there is to it is talking about it and that's a huge step i'll admit i know many of you who may be dealing with these things think that's blasphemy and think, oh, talking about it is not going to solve anything. And it will. Um, but I just wish people would stop acting like it will solve everything. Even then, here I am filming this video for the sole reason of trying to talk things out and make things feel better. And it never works. It never does. Well, not never. And I broke my smarty rule. You know, this has kind of helped me feel a little better. Giving me a little bit more motivation. Especially knowing I'm going to put this video out there and people are going to watch it. And maybe I'll offer some form of clarity for them, if even just for the night. That's the funny thing, is I think I always act like there's going to be this moment of like, I'm healed. I'm better. I can see again. Um, And sometimes that moment does come and I'm like, oh my gosh, here it is. The big leagues, we made it. And then two days later, you're back where you started, if not deeper. And then eventually I hit that climax again and I'm like, oh, I did it this time. And uh, I guess we just need to admit that. I don't know. I don't, it's a journey. I, I don't know if you expect me to figure myself out or figure the mental illness epidemic out um, by the end of this very short video, but part of me did. And I think that's the problem. I love being an optimist. I, I like to say I'm an optimist. I don't even know if I am. I think it's stupid to call people one thing or another. I, a part of me always feels like I'm gonna figure it out. And a part of me felt like that when I hit the record button for some reason, because I've done this before. I've never uploaded it, but I've done this before way too many times. Never figured it out. And I'm not gonna right now. And I'm gonna end the video very soon, so I, stop pretending like maybe I will. So I guess my final message is before the channel returns to everything else I've been up to lately, before I play more Lego Marvel, before I talk about comics, before I talk about Euphoria, I'm in love with that show so much. i would be a good segue from this. A very inappropriate, don't watch Euphoria if you're not wise and elderly and mature as I am. No, but like really, it's very bad. Well, not bad, it's amazing. Very inappropriate, but like for good reason, but like, Never mind. Different topic for a different different day. Um, what was I gonna say? I don't know. I'm just full on consuming the Smarties now. I broke my rule. I'm gonna try and get back to my trigonometry notes. I'll keep you posted, maybe. But uh, I have a feeling I'll make it through, and I have a feeling you'll make it through too. And I hope this video was worth something to someone. <laughs> Leave it to me to make things overly sentimental. It's my job. It's what I do. Pride myself on it just. All right, that's it. Peace out, everyone. Have a great night. Have a great day, whatever time you're watching this. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.